Okay. If I'm going to do this under it properly, you know, if I'm another version of Jonah, well then he has to be allowed to speak but properly. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I've got to have Nineveh there and I'll be on the beach. So that'll be the interview. No? So, but I thought, well, I think a lot of them are going to do it myself or I was going to do it in conjunction with I was going to do a song, give a guitar lesson, and then do my little bit of social philosophy, right? But talking to you today, and you know, you've already got this YouTube channel going, and we've already talked about this anyway. I thought, well, maybe that's how it should go. We'll do the interview instead of me just doing, trying to do it. So you've already got it set up. We just set the camera up and do it, and then you can just launch it, and it'll be launched. Hmm. Do that. I got a friend online called George, not George, George, not George Lucas, William Lucas. He's a like a renowned, famous UFO writer. He loves the Gnostic version and the Adaman thing. He, he he's written books. So well, if we did the interview, he comes online every time. Oh, on. it would be uh, probably an hour and a half. Are they going to let you do that on YouTube? Oh yeah, it could go four hours. Five. I'd go through the whole Gnostic thing. Uh, I'd go through the whole story, you know explain how you know I've come to this I'll, I'll this clean all this up come about and make it presentable for the and studio. um yeah when you get back from your trip sure then I'll go through all of that explain everything the inconsistencies in the Bible and right all this stuff and the footprints and right. and um mm -hmm. yeah give people something to think about because they said the trouble with people is that they think they know something but I don't. That's what I said to that bloke the other day, right? And he it brought him up because he could see the truth in that, right? Mm. Um, I don't think I know anything. I know nothing. I'm trying to be something, but I know nothing. But the beingness knows a lot because it's yeah. But I life. don't know what's coming. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I only know what's behind me, and that's all anyone fucking knows. But they want to pretend that because they can see behind them, they've got the ability to see in front of them. They want to pretend that. But it's just pretend no one knows what's coming in front of them. No, no. no one's got more than 30 seconds to live that they know of, yeah. right? So one girl even brought that down to five seconds. She said no one's got more than five seconds. No one knows any any more than five seconds ahead of what's going to happen, right? The first one I said this, it said that. Yeah. That's what I've heard you say that. Um, so we don't know anything. Remember, it was the tree of knowledge that got us into trouble in the first place, right? Yeah. We don't know anything. We're trying to be something. And if we can purify our thoughts, our processes and our heart intents, if we can purify them by... Um, faith and good works, you know, faith and good works, then maybe we can reach this place called the truth, where the scales fall off and we finally see what is really going on. All we know at the moment is there's something going on, okay, and it's all bullshit, right? Mm, mm. So, it's like a, like a, what do you call it, like a, uh, cartoon sort of play like a theatrical yeah play. yeah 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 um but now we've got the confidence that it's all we understand that everything has already happened right yeah and it's, it's just playing out and we've just got to try to be the best kind of version of ourselves that we can be the while we're on our way to getting free yeah yeah huh? so you've got to empty your mind of everything because your mind can only be filled with the past it can't be filled with the future because no one knows that's a deceit I can just see how sludge boy has used that all through these all through the ages you had to trip people up to use their imagination mm. okay to create some sort of future this life for themselves mm. when that's not the purpose of life we're here to be something. Like these 
prophets that stand up and real cool, calm, collective, him humble, humility, meek, submissive, and they say, give us your money. <laughs> yeah. Pay the time. Oh, Rat Boy's been come up a couple of times. Oh, there was one picture of him looking like... Rah! Some lady, because he said... Um, Someone asked him about using his own private plane instead of going on a commercial plane. And he goes, oh, I'm not going to get in a tube full of demons. Anyway, uh, some lady, Juno, asked him about that. Did you say, you know, you wouldn't get in a tube full of demons? And he, he looked like a fucking... Yeah, he looked at her like he's going to tear her head off. And his eyes glisten, you know, get that real rat face thing going on. And he's got all the... Yeah, yeah. Like, you know how we're sealed up to the Holy Spirit. That's the grace message. Lily come up with something really interesting. She says, "I don't want to be sealed up to demons." So, that, so that's what the Mormons are doing, sealing people up to demons, false religion, um, promising to become gods, all this nonsense, exalting themselves, yeah. glory for themselves. Is so this yeah, a rap boy? Now Lily said that. Lily said that uh, that the, the 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 religions are trying to get you sealed up to their bullshit. You're not being sealed with the Holy Spirit, you're being sealed up to Satan's plan of deception. Remember, you know, you don't follow Jesus because you want to go to heaven. No. You go to heaven because you want to follow Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's lots of um, trumpet sounds happening around the world. Lots <coughs> of one on YouTube. <coughs> All around the world. Yeah, I know people that have experienced People that. recording, you can hear it. Yeah. <coughs> Where that come from? Yeah, really loud and yeah, resonant. Where does that you know? sound coming from? <coughs> the trumpet sound. Yeah. And I tell you what, and the UFO thing is going off. There's ships now, not just lights. There's heaps of ships that are, they're showing themselves now. It's not just lights. You remember that? Did, I, did you get that video I sent you of that woman in America who could not have children? She had a tubes tight, everything. She got pregnant, and the baby was growing in the womb. And the doctor said, this is impossible. Who, have who got you pregnant? She said, the aliens took me up and in, 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 in fertilized me. And, uh, and when, before they took the baby up, they took her up again and took the child. It was a beautiful daughter with white glowing eyes, big eyes like an alien. And she was taken up and met her daughter. And this, and this is what's happening in the abductions. But none of these people testified of Jesus Christ because they would flee. These are people obviously on a frequency where they get taken. But we would, that would never happen to us. I, I, I can, I, it just wouldn't happen. I'd say, do you come in the name of Jesus? Yeah. Gone. Gone. But these people are experiencing that yeah. and the psychology. Well, there must be all that seed, all his seed. Could be. It's his seed and he's, he's experimenting on them and that. Mm. Experimenting on them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other seed. Yeah. I've got this. When I had my NDE, right, I didn't see... Lights, tunnels, angels, rallies, mm -hmm. talking flowers, temples, yeah. and I didn't see anything like that, okay? But the oneness of it all, the touch the sky. Yeah, yeah, okay. But but I was up there, and I swear, but I didn't see anything that lots of these other people see, right? Yeah, yeah. I've always wondered like about me. that. I've always <laughs> wondered about that, okay? Yeah. Now, in the light of what we've just been talking about, maybe... Um, Sludge Boy didn't want me going up there because I would have kind of caused some trouble oh. or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. I would have said, ha, 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 this is bullshit, where's Jesus, come on, Jesus, or something like that. Um, so I was kept away from what I wouldn't have fallen for. Oh, because it could have been... Astral planes on the way, like yeah, but I was, I was kept away from the astral planes because I maybe I wouldn't have fallen for it because I would have remembered and realised oh, who I was, yeah. and I would have caused some problems up there, you know, you, yep, like you weren't, my you weren't, light or something. Yeah, you weren't welcome. Yeah, so I was kept away from all that, just enough to be to get connected with the creator of yeah, the creation. Yeah, 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 but not seeing any of the nonsense. Any of the astral planes because that's all nonsense. Yeah. Because yeah. Sludge Boy's got the whole lot. 
I look at look at my angel how it got led me. Well, they say angels don't lead you into false religion. It could allow it, but Andrew was saying to me, "There's no friggin' way your angel would lead you into the Mormon Church. Mm. There's no friggin' way." So anyway, at the end of the day, everything that's happened has brought us here. Right? It already happened. Uh, but yeah, we can't be defined by that. We've got to be defined by what's coming, not what's already happened. It's gone. Okay, we're supposed to be using that to create something to work with what's coming. Yep. That's why we need to forget about all of the, you know, all of that and not be defined or driven by any of that. Right? But to just be open like the little child. You know, the little child, yeah. only the little child can enter heaven sort of thing. Just the trust. Get the little child, the trust. Yeah. The little child doesn't pretend to know everything. No. It's like, Mommy, Daddy, teach me, tell me, I know nothing. That's what we want. That's the little child that he's talking about, right? Mm. But instead, sludge boys hijacked everything and filled our heads with the, you know, all this imagination and thoughts and... You know, and puffed up and the stroking and the And yet that stuff. little child in existence of what's already happened, as you say, this because a lot of religions are against pre 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 existence, but already had lived it, God had seen the beginning from the end, and then born into this matrix, this bubble, this mm. this yeah. this what do you call it, three dimensional world we live in, full of pixels and what do you call it? fractals yeah. and yeah. It's like a video game. Mm, yeah. And the little baby's come into this stupid little video game and it's been reprogrammed when it's already... It's, it's the very spark of it's a child that's going to be, accept Christ, not the child of the devil. And it's got to go through all the bullshit. All the, just, just, Except that yeah. it's already happened. Mm, mm. It's already, it's already happened. happened. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we've made it this far. That means we all knew about the cross. We all were there. Yeah. We saw it. Yeah. Everybody. So what's this about uh, the dead are conscious of nothing and we sleep before the resurrection? Is it talking about the the part? Well, what is it talking about? Well, that just that agrees with what, what we're talking about. The sludge boys just grabbed everything and everybody well, in, the Bible. in the whole in the whole creation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Once we're dead, he's got us. And all these uh, stories of reincarnation and everything, it's all bullshit. It's all sludge boy. Right. Okay? Which is why Jesus, Gabriel, had to come and get Moses' body. So if the Bible's saying we sleep, what does it mean then? If we're sleeping, are we somewhere or are we sleeping in the grave until the resurrection? Yeah, well, it's, it's, we're asleep. But there's no reincarnation. No. No, that's, that's bullshit. That's what it's sort of referring to... To the east, that reincarnation thing came out of the east. Yeah, otherwise people would accept right? that. It's too a story, easy. yeah. Right, and people live by that, mm. right, mm. and perpetuate it. And you, you get too many chances to get it right over, live another life, get yeah, it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to do with the plan. And as and you said about the billionaires and rich and the elites and the Illuminati, yeah, they're, they're on their last chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you look at the footprints in the Bible, it kind of hints at that. Yeah. All right, yeah. that once we die, that's it. Yeah. No. So God knew Jeremiah. But we've already lived it. It's already done. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm. And um, because that's why such boy grabs the bodies because in this kind of epoch, that's what he did, and it's kind of just being played out now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He yeah. grabbed everything. Theatrical stage performance. Yeah. Mm. Jeremiah, knowing he knew the word Jeremiah before he was born. So people will say, oh, that just means God knew the future anyway. But I think it does refer to a spiritual. Yeah, he knew us. He knew before us. Before the womb. In other words, we were there. Before the world was exactly. made. Exactly. Now you tell that to a lot of these Christians. That doesn't get talked about much. No. But it's as relevant as everything else. And why, are they, why do they fear that sort of mm. truth? Why? Because it's a. Because it's against Sludge Boy's narrative. He's got every narrative. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Every thought. You know what I mean? It's kind of... It's got everything. The way we live. Everything. You know? It's, I think it's worse, like I said, it's worse than we thought. I think it's also coming into the awareness that this 
God knows the spirit, the breath in us, the whatever is going to make it or not. But the soul or the part that's carnal knows it's going to die. The natural man's an enemy of God. No unclean thing can enter the kingdom of God. So if it knew that the spirit makes it, but the, but the soul doesn't, it perishes. It does no reincarnation. There's no coming back. The soul is dead and the conscious of nothing. Or it's in hell. <laughs> uh, wakes up somehow in a dimension of hell. <laughs> It could be that, um, well, yeah, see, a lot of this, again, all conjecture after that, but I'm just trying to find the threads that resonate, that try, that somehow makes sense of the world, mm. because nothing that anyone is saying mm. makes any sense. What is the frequency of harmony again? Is it 432 or 4? That frequency? 432. 432, equals mm. 9, and... The, the harm the disharmony frequency that the Luminati have created 440, 440 through chaos theory and yeah. music and uh, microwaves and all the Rockefeller is supposed to have changed it yeah and the satellites it's all above thousands it's the music. of music it was yeah. Rockefeller yep he changed to cause people to stumble they couldn't reach their full potential what the fuck is a banker doing with his finger in the musical pie he's yeah. a banker you know what I mean? So, is this, I mean, this is all the, the murky There's stuff. a serpent level. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's been a lot of, what's that, is that your phone ringing? Oh, it's just the vibration oh. thing. Um, Probably Andrew maybe ringing. Yeah. Been a lot of stuff coming out about the celebs lately. The celebrity. Heaps. One of them has bolted, right? Bolted. Got in his fucking private jet and fucked off to a country where that they can't extradite him from. He was really big, Puff Daddy, Puff Diddy, P Diddy. He owned a big again, rap again, recording studio called Bad Boys or something. He was huge, right? And about a couple of months ago, um, mm. someone started spilling their guts about all these things that go on at his parties and everything. The this eliminating okay. stuff and the, the, the little ritual. kids shit, the little kids shit and everything, okay, um, and all the sexual assault stuff and everything. Yeah, and he's got these ponies fucked off. Right? Um, and money will keep him away for a while. A little, yeah, but oh, they want a way to live. He's a fugitive now. You know, I mean, that'll all that, that's going to end in tears. Which country did he go to? You know. Um, no, this is one without an extradition treaty. With someone without an extradition treaty with the US, um, it's coming out about Beyonce and Jay Z and all of them and this stuff that happens at the parties and the little kids. The last few months, this little kid thing, you know, the blood drinking thing, yeah. you know, because that's been big for thousands of years, yeah. right? Yeah. And they have to do that stuff. I know. Right. But isn't Taylor Swift giving a lot to charity? She's big in giving. That's a smoke screen. Ah, oh, smoke you know? screen. I saw a really weird picture. I've seen it twice. Now, I don't know if it was bullshit or not, but you know who Anton Lafay is? Heard the name. Okay, we well, you know Alistair Crowley. Yep. Okay, the, the, the big wizard, all right? Well, Anton Lafay is like a modern day Alistair Crowley. He's the head of the Church of Satan. In the, do you know there's a Church of Satan in America? Yeah. Because in their constitution, they have freedom of religion. In other words, you can have any religion you like, even if it's the devil's religion. It doesn't matter if it's religion, you're allowed to have it and you don't pay tax. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's freedom of religion. So it's not just away from the escaping the Catholics and the fucking Protestant wars. It was about doing whatever you want to do. Do what thou wilt. That was Alistair Crowley's saying. Do whatever you want to do. Right? So in other words, couched in that freedom of religion is have a religion about any fucking thing you like at all. All right? So they're really keen. Who was it? Andrew wants me to go on the buses, but I'm talking about uh, going. It's okay. Um, so anyway, Anton LaFay is the head of the, cat, of the Church of Satan, right? And there's a picture of him holding a little girl, a baby girl, all right? And the mother is standing there, smiling into the camera. Aunt Lafay's there, and there's a, a magic circle in the background on a board, okay? 
and he's holding a little baby in front of this magic circle, giving it a blessing, right? And the, the mother is standing there smiling at the camera. That's supposed to be Taylor Swift's mother, and she, the baby is supposed to be Taylor Swift. I've seen it twice, oh, but I don't know if it's bullshit or not. I see. Right? I don't know if it's bullshit it. or not. Mm. Could be, right? But it kind of fits in with everything else that's going on and how embedded. I found out that, like, all right, you know about Alistair Crowley, right? Yeah, the devil. Uh, oh, he was the big um, the head, chirper head, chirper mutterer, right? Yeah, the head of the Satan. Yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. Now, do you know about Jack Parsons? Oh, yeah, he was the friend of... Uh, he started NASA. And then you got Ron Hubbard was part of it too. Ron, and guess who else was part of it? Walt Disney. Walt Disney. Yeah, he was part of it. Yeah. He created that empire for yeah. children. Yeah, it was the little kid thing, the blood. Oh my God, and Tom Hanks was under, in Disney, under all Disneyland all drinking in the blood. All or in it. cocaine or whatever. That's what it was all about. How did they do To get the kids. Remember what you said to about... kill them, drink their blood. About these actors, they can act all these beautiful, emotional, loving... Decent movies and in real life they're shit. Yeah, yeah. So you know somebody who's not shit, somebody who's come unto the Lord, out of all the people, Jim Carrey. Yeah, 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 right. And his girlfriend committed suicide and it yeah, shocked right. him, woke yeah. him up. Yeah, he got out of it. You know who's not come unto the Lord? And that's Jack Nicholson. Absolutely. Yeah, miserable. well, they're all, yeah, it's, when the stories come out, I mean, you're just going to sift through it and think, but it's too much smoke there. You yeah, know, there's definitely a fire somewhere. Yeah, right. And, oh, and and now when you see a lot of the concerts now, the devil horns and the lyrics and yeah. you know and all that stuff, it's all really satanic. Yeah. Um, and they talk about you know all this I shit was, and I was preaching. I was, I, I, Satan. I teach on like this one. What's this one? I was preaching one night about the Illuminati, and, and I realised later on my T-shirt was the Illuminati sign. It's, like, it's just yeah. subconsciously being planted in us. But in a lot of the music now, they mm. talk openly about the devil and Satan. It's kind of just really gone that way, away from you know, like the first, fourth, and fifth. You know, away from twelve bars and you know, move your feet and shake your booty. It's gone a long way from that. Now it's when you look at the big concerts and all of that and the imagery and everything. I'm like, fuck. Well, look at Prince Charles for before he was a king. He stood at the sporting arena, opened up in England, and they had a golden calf and all these witches around the calf doing a ritual to bless oh, the sporting yeah, arena. Right into it, mate. And Diana said they weren't human. Remember, that was a quote. She said, they're not human, you know. That was a quote of hers. Yeah, well, the hybrids. Yeah. Well, she said, they're not human, you know. And another quote, three weeks before she got killed, she said, apparently I'm going to be killed in a car crash. Oh, really? You know that? That was a quote, too. That was three weeks before she went. Right. I still don't know how she died. It was a, it was an accident or something or how the, the driver survived. How come she didn't? No, survive? the driver didn't survive. That was her boyfriend. He, they both died. And why did the car crash in the first place? Was it yeah, was he no boyfriend. brakes or something? What? No, well, I don't know. You know. Yeah, he's supposed to be pissed and speeding, but it was really weird. You know, like they kept people away from the crash scene, and apparently she wasn't dead. First, but then, and then she was, and mm. it was nasty. Um, but yeah, that's what she said. So it's like I feel really grateful that I'm thinking like this. Mm. Really grateful mm. that I aren't being defined by any one particular story. Mm. That I am trying to lose all of it yeah and you know whatever's coming I want to be the best version of myself to meet that and that's got nothing to do with the, what's happened before right and anything that anyone is saying no one knows shit you mm. can't listen to anybody else, you know what mm. I mean mm. you've only got to take the stuff that resonates with you all right resonates and yeah. work with that yeah all right and one day yeah move everything into the place where we get understanding right and it all becomes clear mm. Mm. All right? so 
Now, the, there is one hint in the Bible where it says the world has not seen what one man walking fully in the power of God can do. Exactly, so yeah. We haven't seen that. That's why we've got a world full of religion and no sign of God, but the Bible covers that mm. because it says the world has not seen. That's why Jesus said he didn't walk fully in the power of God, otherwise who would have, you know. He said, you'll do a lot more things than this. I'm doing nothing. I've just come here to, you know, to be a sacrifice. I haven't come yeah. here to show power. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there were little hints, you know, you're talking about our words. That when he was in Gethsemane, all right, in the garden, and Judas had gone and told the, the soldiers where he was, right? He, he said, he's in the garden. So they went up to the garden where he, where he was with the disciples, right? The rest of them. Mm. And they approached him, all these soldiers, right? And they said, are you Jesus? And he just said, I am he. Just quietly, okay? And just the force of those words blew them all over. They all, all these soldiers, Roman soldiers, okay? With full gear, everything, all went flying yeah. backwards. Wow. All these I've got it. I am he, and they just push exactly. them all back. Did you ever see Ben-Hur, my favourite biblical movie of all time with Charlton Heston? The Roman soldier was whipping the slaves, and one slave fell down, thirsting to death, and Jesus gave him water, and he was in, they went through the village, whoever, and the Roman soldier got angry, and he picked up the whip to hit Jesus, and he froze, and he's, he couldn't whip him, and he started having tears coming down his eyes, and he said, oh, what is this? You know, the love that Jesus was giving that Roman soldier, that evil bastard. Uh, and then Jesus, as soon as Jesus turned away to, to go on with it, go on with it, his day, the soldier immediately turned around and started whipping the slaves. He, he could not whip Jesus, and he, for a moment he was caught up in the bliss of God's love. Yeah, we don't forget that was just a movie, though. Oh, but you know the Roman soldier that Jesus said, your faith will, has healed your daughter and he didn't even don't, don't come yeah, to my place yeah, yeah. Um, because I believe <coughs> she's already healed surely Never I seen not such, such faith in the house th of Israel that's it yeah. one of the stories that really gets me is the story of Saint Germain mm. talked about him no. he's the one that he's apparently he doesn't die right he's lived for a, a long time yeah he keeps popping up in history oh. he's still alive he's still re you know, he's still out there somewhere but apparently, he's been alive throughout history. He's one of the Maybe that's a two thousand year old wizard. Well, remember Jesus said there will be some amongst you here who will not taste death yeah. until I come. Yeah. Well, I heard an interesting story about it's on a video, okay, about Saint Germain, right? Because apparently he's this mystical character that keeps popping up in history, and he lives in a big fucking like, mansion somewhere in Europe, and you know, an old castle in Europe somewhere. Oh, oh and he, not in the cave. And he's. But no, 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 he's got money and he appears and disappears. You know, he's lived, he's immortal. He's, oh, a, he's yeah, immortal, they, they apparently. Never, they never died. Yeah, he's immortal. He's lived, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's But he he's, a good, he's a good guy? Hey? A good guy? Well, he, he keeps popping up in history. They keep finding reference to him in history and being significant, okay, in some way, because he's immortal, right? But he hasn't made any great... Um, He's involved with the um, um, who are they? The um, the violet flame people. Um, Elizabeth was it? Um, Taylor? Um, no, no, no. Um, was it um, Elizabeth Clare Prophet? Oh. It's the violet flame thing. It's like a religion. He's involved with that at the moment but he's he's popped up through history okay yeah. this is his story mm. there's all these mysteries around him and I heard one story of where how it all started is that he was um, one of Pontius Pilate's servants or um, yeah one of, one of Pontius Pilate's servants alright mm -hmm. and when Jesus was carrying the cross through the street all right Pontius Pilate's servant was there watching and he kicked him and said hurry up all right and Jesus turned to him and said I go but you will stay until I come uh -huh. so he cursed him who kicked who Jesus, he, 
like this guy, St. Germain, mm. kicked Jesus in contempt while he was carrying the cross. Okay? Oh. And said, hurry up, you know, in total. Just, oh, Pilate's upside, yeah. Yeah, Pilate's servant. Yeah. As Jesus was carrying the cross up the street and all the all, all, all was going on, you know, he kicked him and said, hurry up. Just out of pure contempt and everything, right? And Jesus turned to him and said, "Okay, I go, but you will stay." Sounds like a blessing to you stay. You tarry until I go. It was a curse. Yeah, but he's still alive. Yeah, but he's can't. It's just like so. Everyone he's ever known has died, and uh, yeah. you know what I mean. Like and he's lived this lonely fucking like life, watching everyone die, and he can't die, and he's going to sit there in his castle. You know what I mean, and just try and think of something to do for 2,000 years. <laughs> oh, right. You know what I mean? It's a curse. I see. You know, I, that resonated And he's with not me. saved. That story resonated with me. Mm. I go, but you tarry until I come, yeah. till I return. And that ties up, ties in with, there are some of you here who will not taste yes. death until I come. Because I always wondered about that. And I've got a feeling that John's still alive too. Right? Hiding on Patmos somewhere. Uh, Just got that feeling. Yeah, you know? Paul said there would be those who not taste death. And Paul didn't say that. Only Jesus said that. Oh, through Paul. Paul's writings, was it? No, Jesus is the one that said there are some of you here who will not taste oh, death. Oh, I thought Paul said that. Yeah. Jesus said oh, that. Okay. But I've got a feeling that John's still alive. Right. You know? Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the story of St. Germain, and that, that resonated with me. And that makes sense. I go, but you stay until I come. Because that's he was God. Right? Amen. He was God. Yeah. He cursed him. How yeah, dare you kick me? Well, you can stay. You don't get the freedom of and the peace of the and the rest of the sleep. Can he repent? No, not from that. Oh, he's in serious I like, trouble. Like like Cain. Another he's in, one. Oh, he's definitely one of the sludge boys. He didn't have the spark in him. See, all those people without the spark, they're going to get the books. They get the books. Yeah, the ones, that are, ones that are saved get the book. No, the ones without the spark. They get the books. The other seed, they get the books. Oh, I see. Yeah. What about if, religious people that are not being saved, but they're religious and dogmatic Catholic? Well, work? it's like some of the children are just going straight home. Ah. All right? Everyone else is getting the books. Right? Ah. Everyone. Ah. Everyone. Because he says God desires that all men be saved. Yeah, okay? not one lost. So he's going to look through the books and he's going to try to find any redeeming feature in the life of the other seed, any good deed that they did anywhere, any nice thought that they had. Right. He's going to want to look for that. Right. And, oh, okay, yeah, well, you had a couple of nice thoughts. You made an effort there. Okay, you can come home. Look, right. I've looked at this whole book and there's not one bit of fairness or niceness or compassion anywhere. The whole thing was just hate, grief, pain. Nothing. Yeah, it's not you know, a weighing up of how good you And you cursed me your whole life. Yeah. You hated me. You told me you hated me. And you killed that person. You oh, did yeah. this. You ripped that person That's off. That's true. Get out. Well, but, yeah, but there are people that have done good and bad. What, they get yeah, what? well, this is it. He's going to go through the books. Yeah, the ones. And he's going to try to find yeah. enough good stuff in there for everyone to bring them home because he desires that all men so, be saved. So what about pastors, filthy rich, ripping people off for the tithes and all that? Are they of the other seed or are they just simply need to repent and and be brought to the okay, book of well, life? The thing is, we don't know who is the other seed and who's not for a start, okay? okay? okay. All right? But the indications are that some of the children, like the 144,000, yeah. okay, they're not getting the books. No. Right? They're going to reign with Jesus through the thousand years, yeah. all right? But everyone else, gets the book. everyone. Is there any references, gets the books. references in the Bible that we would be judging through the books, judging with the angels? In the, you know. No, the, no, that we're going to be judged by the angels. Ah, uh, not judging with the angels. No, no. Oh, that's no, well, the hundred and forty-four thousand are going to be ruling dur during the thousand, thousand years, years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But then after that, it's the books. And it's like everyone who's ever lived. From Adam right up. Of course, the ones that didn't make it don't come forth until the end of the millennium. Until the end, yeah, that's what it says. Because only the children are in the first resurrection. That's right. And they reign through the thousand years and restore the world. And then after the, big the thousand years... The battle of Gog and Magog. Is after Gog and Magog, which lasts about half an hour. 
It's over before it even starts. Well, half an hour is a few years, mate. Well, it's over before it even starts. Yeah, yeah. You know, they start to assemble, and God says, "No, that's mm. it. I'm not having." Is there this. anything in the Bible that talks about a fifteen hundred mile high building and a wall where the kingdom of God is? Yeah, with the city. Yeah, that some bit. some deny that. So yeah. where's that say that in the Bible? You know. Well, it talks about the city of God, but it's all kind of like, yeah. um, it's all sort of, that's yeah, really supernatural stuff, you know what I mean? Would that be City of Enoch adjoined to this earth? The city, of, city of Enoch come down from heaven, return to the earth as the, as the as the God's kingdom placed on this earth? Well, see, the thing is, what we know is that there's going to be a thousand years, okay, where the earth is restored, all right? Um... And then, after that, all the dead rise, all of them. And they all get the books. That's it. All right. Yeah. And after the books, that's when the city of God comes down onto the earth to Jerusalem, the New Jerusalem. Yeah. All right. Um, so what we're waiting for at the moment is a major earthquake, and for the sun to go black, and for the moon to go red. And the temple built in Israel. No, 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 no. No. The earthquake, the sun goes black, the moon goes red, then there's an appearance. That's right. right, the first part of it before. That's the first appearance. To give people then a chance. the tribulations yeah. after that. Yeah. So in other words, everyone in the world going through the tribulations will have knowledge that yeah. he's here. it really is here, we just have to put up with this. And then get beheaded. And that's fair. That, makes, that is fair. See, yeah. It makes perfect sense. That God's going to make sure last that minute, everybody knows. Last minute Christians. Yeah, last in. call. Yeah. Last call for drinks. This yeah. is it. Yeah. Okay? So it's you more, likely, seven years, you more likely the rapture happens at the end of the tribulation. Yeah, well, of course. That's what it says. Yeah. There's no rapture. Because we all go through who it. were the saints who get crucified during the, the seven martyrs. years? Why didn't they get raptured? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that just blows that right out of the water. Yeah. I've got the whole... Yeah, of course, it just makes sense. This stuff about um, those of us who were left alive will meet him in the air, okay? That's right, that's what well, it says. Okay, when someone says something like, those of us who were left alive, that indicates that something has happened and a lot of people have been killed and a few were left alive. That's what that means. That, well, before the tribulation, that hasn't happened. No one's been killed. We're all alive, okay? So something has to happen for a whole lot of people to be killed, Brilliant. for a few to be alive. Yeah. That's the tribulations, right? And at the end of it, those who are left alive will rise to meet him and in the And the dead, air. the graves will be opened and caught up to meet Jesus as well. Yeah, yeah the saints. Yeah. Okay. But so how can that happen if there hasn't been an event where lots of people have been killed? Right? Mm. So it's so obvious. It's after that. After that. Yeah, right, yeah. and John himself said, "This is the first resurrection." Yeah, okay? and the coming yeah. of first coming to the Jews to give them a chance to repent, showing the nail prints in the hand, every tongue confess, every knee bow. Many Jews will give, be converted. So God's coming back even to His own blood. Well, that will probably be the appearance. Yeah, to let them and everyone know. Yeah, and then they won't yeah. have an excuse. So everyone in the world. Well, no. Amen, amen. You know? And does people like my dad and your dad get the books? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. But you just said, everyone will get the books. I, I thought you said only those that were of the other seed get the books. So, well, see, there'll be a lot of people, a lot of the seed that will be going for the books too. I said some. We know that some of us are going home, like the hundred and forty-four thousand. Yes, they're not going to get the books. All right. Right. But everyone else, well, it's you know, it's kind of like. Yes, yeah. you just still. some will obviously been a lot. There's been a lot of backslidden Christians. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, but yeah, it's, it's just it's going to be fair. And obviously, if those backslidden Christians, if they've got more going for them than against them, they're okay. Oops. But if it's all been more, if their whole life has been hypocrisy, oh yeah, yeah, then that's going to be exposed. But if they've got the spark in them. That won't, you know, like, I mean... Yeah, um, the transformation see, will look, take place. See, don't forget, this is just my idea as a thing. Yeah. It could be that everyone needs the spark. None of them get the books. It could, could just be that everyone else, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he desires that all men be saved, and it says that everyone who's ever lived is going to be there. Amen. Get at the books. So can we lose our salvation? 
Well, um, that see that's um, that doesn't ring with me because because the children yeah. are predestined um, and it's it's already happened. You know what I mean? And a truly converted. And if we de- if we could lose our salvation, we lost it already. Already, and a truly converted Christian would not murder, rob, steal, no, lie. no, continuously. No. And they wouldn't have conversations like this. They wouldn't. No. Wouldn't be heading, you know, trying to. They would stop get you. towards his bar called the truth. Like in that Joe Witness video I watched the other day, this guy started preaching grace in the Joe Witness church. He was a Joe Witness, and they went up to him and they grabbed him and he just stopped. Yeah. Oh, he, they turned the mic off and talked, and he had and yeah, he moved right. him. Yeah, right. That's total. It was boys, changing the people's hearts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate. It's and and it's Joe, it's Joe Witness is a base. So, I mean, he's got the whole thing. Yeah. There aren't there aren't many of us. There aren't that uh, many children. Why? Why is people attracted to this? This well, because he's filled the world with people. I know that, but what type of intelligence go? They reckon we're dumb asses because we're losers, not rich, filthy, not, you know, status. What makes people get attracted to that luminous light of the false one? What is it? What is? See, this is my theory, and I've experienced this <clears throat> myself. We've got all this. False light flooded in our face, yeah. like Mormonism, yeah. and they, yeah. they, they give you the this light is so bright, it's just like you, you, oh, just pay yeah, your tithing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so the, the real light, light is at the end of that tunnel, and to get there, you got to go through the great abyss. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. And remember that guy that he was on another video. This guy was a pastor, but he was he's was, he was a cheat. He ripped people's tithing off, and he went through the tunnel. And there's light everywhere, all around him. He go, oh, I'm going to heaven, and suddenly those light turn into fire, demons sucking the life out of him and as soon as he got towards the end of the tunnel he shot off into the summer a void into the void he never made it um that light at the at the front was all deception the, 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 the true light he missed it he went, went like this and then shoo, shot off out of the tunnel into a into the abyss of voidness mm. <clears throat> so yeah. this false light yeah and satan's had thousands of years well, and he's got everything all the dimensions yeah. the astral planes the, and everything the, all the, the, the prince experiences of, that's it and the prince of the year is the the higher class sort of uh, higher intelligent demons exposing the deceptions of this false light and then you've got the lower class lower intelligent demons uh, snarling ones down the below that are getting into prostitution and drugs yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and dark religions and, and worshiping of statues mm. and, and people love the dark yeah. and they call it holy for fuck's sake, they call it holy. So, which take your pick, like you yeah. say, pick your level. That's your bullshit. Don't yeah. look up, don't look yeah. down. Yeah. Look to the cross. Amen. Yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah right. and that's the message. That's yeah. the message. Tell the Mormons, don't look up. And hey, Jesus never atoned for sins in the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, it's on the cross. I amend that. I say, don't look, up, don't look down. Look within. Yes, the Inside. kingdom of God is within. There, the word in. is written upon in. your heart. Because yeah. this is where the story is coming from. It's within us. The projection is coming out coming of us. Coming out of us, yeah. Right? And it's just a projection, though. It can't hurt us. Right? And we need to understand that. I'll have one more second, then I'll get going. Yeah. Yep. Amen. That's beautiful. Can I just have a mouthful of that coffee? Yeah, just sure. Just yeah, yeah, sure. Just a little bit in there. Just to get through one. You're like me. Just a simple pleasure of life. But anyway. no. Yeah, I love having these. That's why I wanted to come over today to confirm all this stuff. And well, I'm glad you did. And Passover is on my birthday. When I saw that, when that date flashed up, he was talking about April the eighth. But do you know, the, the twenty we... isn't the twenty second of uh, April Hitler's birthday. Is what Hitler's birthday? No, 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 no. Thirtieth of April. Oh, thirtieth, the devil. Yeah, yeah. The devil. Uh, that's it. Sorry. Um, but when it when that flashed up, April twenty second, Passover. Yeah. I thought, oh, well, my hairs went up on the back of my head, you know, because I was waiting for something like that. Because he's talking about April the eighth, and I'm thinking, and all these dates in April, and thinking. I wonder if my date's going to come up there. And then he said, and then this year, two weeks before Passover, on April the 22nd, and I saw that, and I thought, oh, whoa, I'm listening to this. There's definitely something in it, because that day I woke up and I had all that tragic happen, money lost and everything. I, I saw six six sixes, and I didn't take notice of it. I just ignored it. It was a warning. So 
I'm not saying being a numerologist, or, but there is there are warnings. So I'm going to be 65 in April, okay? That's mm. 11, okay? I'm 65 two, next year. It's two, two yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. You know, there's a true story about this fighter pilot, in, uh, American, fighting the Japanese war, and he was a hero. He won every battle and then came to the last day of the war and the general said, go home to your family. You, the war's finished, uh, last day. Don't go out again on your mission. Just go home to your wife and family. Got shot down. No, he got shot down that, that last day of the war. He was so heroic, patriotic to his, for his country. And I think, <coughs> like us, we have these missions. And we keep thinking we can, like, we, as rock star type of mentality, get out there, give it a go, another go, get all rich, famous. Satan's last chance to pull us away. That's always a thought that it could happen, but uh, I think we'll be stopped a lot of things because it's too valuable, the time that's short left. Um, okay, people are out there playing in pubs and clubs and drink, carry on. Um, sure, back in the 60s, 70s, that was the, that was it, the thing, wasn't it? Today it's so evil. Let's talk about the music. <coughs> the music? Yeah, because you're going on a bus trip next week, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's my last week of work. So when you get back, I'll be starting a three month break. All right? Yeah. And we've got all the gear. And I can afford to get the guitar fixed and. Mm. Um, I can come over here and we can set up the mixer and... All right, we'll we talk about the music it. then, all right. We can start. We don't have anything holding us back. Yeah, yeah. We've got everything. Yeah. But the mixer, we've got the gear. Yep. The PA, got the mic. Yeah. Everything. Amen. And yeah. It's, and it's all good gear. Well, we and can... And I want to bring my sister's keyboard over. I want to leave it here because that's the one I want to use. You use keys. it, yeah. Okay, because it's have like you that one, Have you seen it? You just start getting used to it. Yeah. It's not weighted though. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But it's, you know, yeah. that's the one I want you to use and you can use your okay. stuff Okay, no here. worries. Yeah, we'll get out there and do some music then. That's okay. Uh, kind of a part-time career. <laughs> it won't take us long to knock these songs into shape. Yeah, 30 songs. Five. I'll get the five up and then five. work on that. And then we yeah, yeah, yeah. Then get a drummer and a female vocalist. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.